for right now, we're going to keep on going with certified. I love talking basketball, baby. It's my favorite sport. 2018-19 certified basketball, six box, half case break number four. It's time now. Pierce Garnett Allen. Yeah, you know, Jose, that 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 was a very... No, dude, Sean, I love it, man. I Dude, I love talking sports, bro. So I'm glad that you didn't take any of this thing seriously or, or, or personally, I should say. It's nothing but love. Dude, I love talking sports, man. Uh, I will say this, though. That Celtics team, I think uh, I, I don't think they, they maximized what they could have done. They only won one championship. That... They, they should have, at the very least, won two or three. So, you know, I, I, I don't really I don't really understand that one. Exactly, you know, the, the those those Celtics teams as great as they were, and yes, they kind of did start the big three. In the in the in the modern generation, though, dude, those those teams should have won more championships. Those teams should have won more championships. And they were just they you know let's just call it what it is. They they were too old when they got together. You know injuries, so on and so forth. You know, kind of uh, derailed them there. I'll agree with you there, though, Aaron. The, the West has been a, a little weird so far this year. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's because the Warriors' dominance, LeBron coming to the West. You know, I, I don't know. But I feel like there's been a little shift in, in the powers here. I feel like it's, it's been a little flip-flop here. The East is looking really strong so far in the beginning of the year. The West, not so much. But I mean, we 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 haven't even played twenty games so far, so we shall see. I I think we can all agree though, Lakers gotta make a move. They gotta make a move, dude. How yo? I don't really talk much college basketball, but that Duke team. Oh my God. You know, everybody's talking about Zion, and he might not even be the best player on that team. That boy RJ is the truth, man. All right, let's see what we got here. Ricky Rubio, 189 Jazz. We have Fred Van Fleet, 49 Raptors. That Duke team is, re oh my God, ridiculous good. Speaking of ridiculous good, I, I really, th I think highly of this kid. Shai Gilgis Alexander of the Clippers rookie roll call. On card auto, that's nice. So, okay, since we're into the debates right now, I am of the mindset that Zion Williams, uh, or whatever, I, I Forget his last name. I think it's Williamson. Whatever. I think Zion should stay in college at least another year. Damian Lillard, 299 Blazers. You know, then we get into the argument of, well, is it going to affect his, 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 his draft stock? Yeah, of course it is, you know. Stanley Johnson, 199 Pistons. You know, right now he's looking like a lottery pick. Lakers are talking trade for Cal Corver. Mm, I don't know if I necessarily like that one. Cal Corver's old, one dimensional player. All he's good for is shooting the ball. Can't defend. I don't know if I would like that trade. D'Angelo Russell, 149 Nets patch. I think this is what the Lakers should do. Lakers should look into trading for Bradley Beal. I think uh, I think those that wizard team is gonna is gonna get blown up at some point. 
And Magic Johnson uh, should be uh, pushing for that. I think they should trade maybe Josh Hart and, and someone else, maybe a draft pick or something, to try to get Bradley Beal in a Laker uniform. That would be nasty. Elden Campbell Hornets autograph to 189. You know, I like Corver because he can shoot the ball. He's a knockdown shooter. Perfect fit for LeBron. They've played together, won championships together. Or a championship together. <coughs> so it'd be a great fit. But, you know, the one thing the Lakers have on their side right now is youth, man. Ben Simmons, 299 Sixers. <coughs> Zion needs at least three years in college, and then he would enter the NBA on another level. Thank you, Scuba Steve. That All I'm saying is, right now, physically, he's ready for the NBA. Mentally, he might be ready for the NBA, but skill set-wise, he's pure athleticism right now. He needs a jumper, like a consistent jumper. If he can enter the NBA with you know shooting the, 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 the three-pointer at a 30% at a clip, which is solid, but he could be a knockdown mid-range shooter? Dude, Zion will be unstoppable. And come on, you're, we're, we're talking about Coach K here. Like, a lot of people don't talk, they're like, we got to give coaches some respect here, folks. Like, there's a reason, you know, the Spurs are so successful. Year in, year out, Greg Popovich. <coughs> So, I, I really think Zion, <coughs> excuse me, I think he should stay at least one more year. Exactly, Scuba. I can't, I can't think of a better coach in the college ranks to help him become the best version of, uh, of Zion possible. You know, there's, there's a re uh, if I'm not mistaken, Jordan played three years in college, didn't he? He played three, uh, I think he played like three seasons, in, or, or he might have played all four in North Carolina. Came into the NBA, and we all know what happened there. I think Zion should stay at least one more season in college. At least one more. I'm not I'm not a big fan of that one and done rule though. I think they should make them stay all four years in college, honestly. Larry Nance Jr., 299 Cavs. That one and that one and done rule is basically a slap in the face to education. Making a mockery of college. Bruce Brown Jr. Pistons autograph. You really want to go to college? Make a commitment. Stay all four years. Don't want to go to college? Then get rid of the one and done rule. You know? LeBron did pretty well for himself coming straight out of high school. So did KG. <coughs> Luka Doncic, 189 Mavericks. And those that don't do well straight out of high school, guess what? Weeds them out. You should have went to college. Zanon Musa, 299 Nets. Paul George, 149 Thunder. I'm surprised he resigned with the Thunder, honestly. I really thought he was going to go with the Lakers. Paul George and LeBron, oh my God. That would be a sick combo. <coughs> yeah, dude, if Zion had his choice, he probably would have gone straight to the pros. My thing is, they should have that option. Devontae Graham of the Hornets, autograph. I think they should at least have that option. You know, if you're going to go to college, you got to stay at least two years. At least two. Better to buy you a 99 Heat. And if you want to go straight to the pros, go for it. Chris Dunn, 299 Bulls. 
Aaron, that's 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 what I'm trying to say, man. I think I don't know if he he'll, he'll probably struggle like most rookies struggle in the NBA. But I mean, if you look at why some of these rookies are are really successful, Donovan Mitchell, I think he I think he was uh, I think he was in the in the in college for like two three seasons. I'm going off the dome here. I'm not really not really sure if that's true or not. But I think he played at least two seasons. Kuzma, I know he played at least three seasons in college. Working on his game. That's why he was able to hit the ground running. Uh, once he got to the pros. But yes, I, I think Zion definitely needs to at least spend some more time in college to one slim down. I heard the kid is like 6'9", 280 pounds. Which would make him the second heaviest player in the NBA right now. That is ridiculous, especially at his position. He should be closer to 250, 240. And with his athletic, like think about it right now. He he is that athletic at 280 pounds. If he could drop 40 pounds and just be straight muscle, he could very well be the second coming of LeBron James athletically. But I think, you know, if he spends more time in college, works with Coach K, works on his fundamentals, his footwork, learn more about the game, it's only going to be beneficial to Zion. I think R.J. Barrett is ready for the NBA, like right now. The kid can shoot. He can do. He can do whatever he wants on the court, or at least that's what he's making it look like right now in college. Anyways, imagine. Yeah, right now the guy has a 50-inch vertical at 280 pounds. Imagine what that vertical is gonna look like when he drops 20, 40 pounds. Holy crap! He might have to play. He might have to play with a parachute. Deion Waiters wanted in Heat. Man, I can't I can't I can't wait to see the Heat team at 100 percent bro. We've we've had injuries all year long so far. Kevin Knox. This kid's a beast for the Knicks to 99. Don't sleep on Kevin Knox. That kid is a problem. I think it'd be really good. Knicks got a nice little core there that they're working on. Wendell Carter Jr., another kid not to sleep on to 99 for the Bulls. This kid is a stud right here, too, in the making. Don't sleep on the Bulls, man. They got a nice young squad. I like Aaron Holiday, too. Another Wendell Carter to 299. This one for the Bulls. We got Giannis Antetokounmpo to 49 for the Bucks. Nah, whatever. Deion Waiters has been out all year. So has James Johnson. Joe Harris, 299 Nets. D. Wade dealing with his uh, newborn baby girl. When the Heat get back to 100%, I think we can be, I think we can, at least in the East anyway, I think we can compete. Can we win a championship? I don't think so. But it'll be fun to watch. Dennis Schroeder, 149 Thunder. Ah, oh, dude, Aaron. Then, if let quick question, Aaron, do you think do you feel the same way about the Spurs? Because I, I like to think that the that the Heat are the East Coast Spurs. Otis Birdsong of the Nets autograph to one eighty nine. I like I like watching the Heat, man. I, I like to think. Of course, I'm biased as a Heat fan. I think they're one of the more entertaining teams to watch. I love how we play. You know, we, we, we can play we can play any style. We can play slow, we can play fast. We you wanna shoot the three, we can shoot the three. You wanna attack the basket, we can attack the basket. You wanna play a half court game, we can play a half court game. You wanna play a full court game, play small ball, we can do that. The Heat, in my opinion, the most versatile team in baseball. In basketball. But again, I am biased. I, I will admit I am biased as a Heat fan. 
Yeah, exactly. And 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 you should always enjoy the way your team plays. Oh, dude, DeRozan's looking really good right now with the Spurs. Leave it to Coach Pop to, to make an All-Star even better. That Spurs system is ridiculous. I like our Heat team, but we don't have a true superstar. I, I think we have a potential superstar in Josh Richardson. He is a, a second-round pick that nobody, you know, coming out of Tennessee, nobody really paid him any mind. We drafted him, we coached him up, and I not for, I, I really I think he could be a superstar in the league. I really do. Let's see here for the Celtics, Robert Williams, the rookie roll call autograph. For the Spurs to be a contender, hmm, that's a great question. Josh Jackson won a five for the Suns because I mean they got Paul Gasol and Lamarcus Aldridge, so they're kind of decent, you know, on the front court there. Um, I think they're a little weak at point guard, and they're deaf maybe. I don't know, man. That's a great question. I haven't seen the Spurs play enough. Vincent Edwards, 299 Rockets. I think they could definitely use a big man. Or I should say uh, a point guard to, to use the big man in a pick and roll. I don't know if Patty Mills is that guy. Who I think is their starting point guard. I, I, Aaron, I agree with Whiteside. Because, you know, earmuffs for the little kids here. I'll give you five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. Whiteside's a little bitch. Tony Parker, 189 Hornets. Whiteside showed his true colors last year in the playoff, and he's a little bitch. I would love to get rid of him. I really like Richardson, though. I really do. I, I think he can, I really think he could be a superstar. Uh, Chandler Hutchinson, 149, Bulls, rookie badge auto. How could you not like basketball, Jimbo? Well, I mean, it's it's not for everybody. I get it. I like basketball because it's it's fast paced, and you know, it's just the seeing somebody get dunked on. It's like, man, I don't know. JJ Redick, two ninety nine Sixers. Mikhail Bridges, 199 Suns. I believe in Pat Riley, though. In Pat Riley, I trust. He br he drafted Dwayne Wade. He brought Shaquille O'Neal. And, dude, Pat Riley's been, been doing major work for the Heat since he's been with the Heat. So, I, I, I trust in him. Scotty Pippen, 149 Bulls. Two boxes left. <clears throat> yeah, we almost had Jimmy Butler, and I don't know how I don't know how I feel about him going to the Sixers. On paper, they look like a fun team. But they still need shooting out there. This is box number five. For anybody keep it up. Oh, dude, Aaron, you grew up in the golden age of basketball, man. You know, when I started watching basketball, Michael Jordan was coming off his three-peat. You know, going on to his second retirement. I remember his first retirement, of course. 
You know, I remember watching Space Jam in the movie theater and, and all that good stuff. But yeah, man, watching Larry Bird and Magic Johnson, man, you, you got spoiled. I've only seen like clips on YouTube. Uh, Zvi of the Lakers, the certified potential auto. Now, Celtics got a bit of an issue, man. I think the Celtics need to trade Kyrie Irving and Gordon Hayward. It is quite evident that Jason Tatum's progression has been halted because of Kyrie and Gordon Hayward. Pagasol, 99 Spurs. And not just him, but like other players like Rozier, uh, Jalen Brown, you know, Marcus Smart. Their younger players are taking a hit, trying to make room for Gordon Hayward and Kyrie. Fred Van Fleet, 299 Raptors. And the reason why the Celtics were so good uh, last year was because they didn't... Uh, honestly, I think it's because they didn't have Kyrie. Kyrie is a bit of a ball hog. You know, he when he gets the ball, he tends to dribble that ball a hell of a lot. The ball kind of sticks when he gets it. Without him, there's a lot more ball movement. I like the, I like the Celtics without Kyrie. Then again... Most of you guys know, I'm not a big Kyrie fan. Jerome Robinson, 299 Clippers. So, I think they need to take advantage of him being healthy, and he's still a really good player. They need to trade him and get something for him. Because there's a chance he might not re-sign, and he might, let, he might leave next year. Omari Spellman, Hawks rookie roll call autograph. I would try to trade uh, trade Kyrie for someone else. Like I don't know who, but somebody that could help him. Maybe like maybe a big man. Devin Booker, 189 Suns. Ooh, I got the trade right here. Kyrie Irving and and and, and uh, Gordon Hayward. Kyrie and Gordon Hayward, and maybe a draft pick or some cash. For Anthony Davis. Ooh. DeAndre Jordan, 299 Mavericks. Could, that would be uh, right there. Celtics, probably favorite to win the chip. Trade Kyrie, Gordon Hayward, throw some money at him, and get Anthony Davis in a Celtic uniform. Ooh. That would be a disgusting team. Larry Bird, 149 Celtics. I think money wise, it works out. Exactly, Aaron. Kyrie's a great one-on-one -on -one player. Put him in the ISO, he'll get buckets all day and night. But he's not really a defensive stopper. And again, you know, he, he's not much of a team player, in my opinion. Wouldn't it? Can you imagine? Dude, imagine that starting lineup. You could put Marcus Smart at the one, put Tatum at the two, uh, Jalen Brown at the three, Horford at the four, Anthony Davis at the five. Are you kidding me? Oh, that would be a disgusting team. And then you got Rozier coming off the bench. That would be a nice ass team. Right, this is the last box. I love talking basketball. Alright, let's see what we got here. Last box mojo. Good luck, everyone. That would be pretty epic. That would be pretty pretty insane. For the Thunder, Kevin Hervey, the rookie roll call autograph. Tyler Dorsey, 189 Hawks. Got a gold. For the Suns, Mikal Bridges, 5 of 10, the rookie gold. That's nice.
You got Kyrie Irving, 299 Celtics. I want to see LeBron in his Laker uniform already. Probably got to wait till next year's products to see that. And a rookie batch auto for Mavericks, Jalen Brunson. Nice rookie right there to 149. Solid. Elio Kobo, 99 Suns. Eric Gordon, 299 Rockets. We got Jaron Jackson Jr., 149 Grizzlies. Ooh, what if they traded Kyrie? I've, I've heard speculation of Kyrie wanting to go to the Knicks. I don't think they'll do this, but again, it's the Knicks. What if they trade Kyrie, Gordon Hayward, and a draft pick or two for poor Zingas? Mm. That would be nice. And that was the break. All right, so recap. Our lowest number parallels, we have Mikhail Bridges, 5 of 10 Suns, and Josh Jackson, 1 of 5 Suns. Nice. Suns with some low numbers there. That's pretty sweet. Autographs are uh, Jaron Jackson, 149 Grizzlies, Larry Bird Celtics 149, Scotty Pippen Bulls 149, Dennis Schroeder Thunder 149, Paul George Thunder 149, and D'Angelo Russell Nets 149. Those are the patches. And the autographs. We got Jalen Brunson Mavericks 149, Kevin Hervey Thunder, Omari Spellman Hawks, uh, Zviatoslav Mikhailok Lakers, uh, Chandler Hutchinson, 149 Bulls, Robert Williams, Celtics, Otis Birdsong of the Nets, 189, Kevin Knox of the Knicks, 299, that's big time, Devontae Graham, Hornets, Bruce Brown Jr., Pistons, Eldon Campbell, Hornets, 189, and Shy Gilgis, Alexander of the Clippers, nice one right there. And that's it for the break. Thank you, eBay. We'll get it out to you.